Many farms now have renewable energy assets. Here in the northeast, wind turbines are a common sight in the landscape. The ability to get a grid connection to export energy is a, a restraining factor for many developers of wind turbines. And there's a lot of interest now in other methods of using turbines, such as production of hydrogen, which can be used as a medium to store energy. Uh, and this can be used for road transport fuel, for example, or stored for conversion back into electricity and used at a later date. So we're going to have a look today at the technology that's used for hydrogen production. We're here at the Aberdeen Hydrogen Energy Storage Facility at Cove. This serves as a, a refueling station for hydrogen vehicles. We have the pump here for dispensing fuel. We've got two different pressures. We've got 700 bar, which most of the small cars use, and with 350 bar, which some of the heavy vehicles use. Hydrogen is produced on this site from grid electricity, from water. The water is cleaned and then it goes into the electrolyzer where it's split off into hydrogen. The hydrogen is then compressed, first of all, to 400 bar, which is, is stored in tanks. And from these tanks, it comes to the pumps to, to supply the, the lower pressure vehicles. And then another facility compresses it up to the higher 900 bar pressure where it supplies the 700 bar vehicles. Potentially, hydrogen gas could be produced off-site and brought here to fill the tanks. We're now going to go to Orkney, to the European Marine Energy Centre, and look at the work they're doing on integrating micro-renewables with hydrogen, and also the use of hydrogen as a fuel in agriculture. My name is John Clipsham. I'm the Hydrogen Development Manager here at the European Marine Energy Centre based in the glorious Orkney Islands. Since EMAC was founded 15 years ago, we've taken almost 30 devices through the infrastructure we've got here. That has enabled us to test and evaluate many, many different technologies, find ways of exploiting natural resources that we've got around the islands here. Unfortunately, Orkney has a constrained grid. We're unable to export all the incredible electricity that we're able to produce here through the wind, tidal and uh, wave technologies that we've got on the island. We're harnessing renewable energy sources, producing hydrogen, moving the hydrogen around and then using it in a variety of applications. And the time is now right for us to do the same thing but in the agriculture sector. Micro wind going to micro hydrogen generation, micro storage and then using that uh, in a tractor. That should enable us to decarbonise the agriculture sector significantly. So to come up with alternatives, be they electric, or hydrogen, or hybrid, or something else we haven't conceived yet, that's going to hit the agriculture sector at some point. So it's really important that we find alternatives. We can see that there's potential for the production of hydrogen from farm-based renewables. Opportunities will arise as there's increasing pressure to decarbonise the transport sector. 